Hi everyone, this is Peter here. I hope you're all having an amazing day. In today's short macro video, I'd like to show you several recent jumping spider shots. All of these images were taken with the Canon 80D, my go-to buddy when it comes to macro. I also use the Canon EF 100mm macro lens with image stabilization and I also had the Raynox DCR 250 and the Nisi 58mm close-up lenses attached for a maximum magnification of approximately 3x. By the way, if you'd like me to make some kind of a tutorial with some tips and tricks on how to shoot jumping spiders, then please let me know and I'd be happy to work on that in the near future. Anyway, let's have a look at those macros now and I will briefly talk about each subject. In this first stacked shot, which consists of eight separate layers that I blended together in Photoshop, is a male bronze hopper. He was resting on the leaf of our yaka. This specimen was rather large, approximately one and a half centimeter in length, and it took me quite some time to finally get a stacked image because it kept moving around. Those huge pedipalps and fangs are quite impressive. The next batch of images I captured are of a much smaller species, a male wide-banded house jumping spider that belongs to the genus Maratus, also known as peacock spiders. I took all of these on the brick wall in our backyard, where I tend to find them on dry sunny days. They really like to hunt for extra small prey, such as mites, flies at this location. This third image from the side is the deepest stack, which once again has 8 layers. Luckily he stood still for about 15 seconds. I really like those huge emerald green eyes and the colorful bristle hairs, especially the orange CT around his eyes and on top of his cephalothorax. In this image, where I only got the rear eye in focus, he was actually preening himself, which looked very funny as he kept covering his eyes with his pedipalps. This side portrait shows the position of his eyes a little better and in this high angle close up you can spot more golden hairs covering the dorsal part of its cephalothorax. This next picture is of another specimen, another male that was actually hanging upside down but I flipped the image around and I really liked the expression. The final three shots are of the same subject in slightly different positions. He seemed to be relatively aggravated by another spider that was lurking nearby. Our next subject is a beautiful garden jumping spider that was exploring one of the leaves of our Swiss cheese plant. This first image is of lower magnification and this one was taken at the maximum magnification ratio of 3 to 1 consisting of 7 separate frames. In these next two oblique shots you can see her after she had captured a small prey, most likely a tiny cobweb spider. She already would have started pre-digesting her victim while she was hanging onto it with her Glycery. The last shot is of a female white banded house jumping spider with a tiny victim once again. I'm not entirely sure of the identification though, so let me know in the comments below in case I have misidentified this one. Our last series is of a super adorable, extremely small jumping spider that most likely belongs to the genus Neon. I found this specimen indoors, it was running around on the wall in my bedroom and I barely noticed it because of its size. I placed it in a plastic container, then grabbed my camera and started to take images of this very tiny fella. It was rather difficult as it kept moving around almost non-stop for the first 20 to 30 minutes, then luckily started to settle down and I managed to grab some decent shots in different positions. It also jumped onto my hand a couple of times and was really stoked with these last three close-ups where it was cleaning its pedipalps. I actually decided to keep it in the container overnight because the better was pretty bad and only relocated it in our garden the following day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you love jumping spiders, then feel free to check out these videos next. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again and catch you all in the next one.